So I was playing Isaac again, and I, I was playing Community Remix, of course, and I have the Ludvica or the Ludvico or the Lud, or however the hell you pronounce that technique, and I was fighting Skolex. I will, of course, finish off this run. I was fighting Skolex, and one of these explosions just kind of stayed here after he fired three bombs at a time, and now it appears to be a physical object, which I can actually, like, push around the screen. Even, even though it's a big green explosion cloud. So I, I thought that was an interesting little interaction I could show you. It's very, very strange indeed. Um, so, what what else do I have this run? Like, this was the main reason I, I turned on the recording. Very peculiar, if you ask me. Not entirely normal. But what else do I have? I have um, Ludvico Technique, or Ludvi Ludvico, I, d I don't know. I have the Blood Oath. But I don't, I have a lot of health, so it isn't really doing much for me. I have the pentagram, I have the small rock, I actually have a lot of damage upgrades, including rage and quad shot, which I'm not sure if it did anything. Um, and also a bunch of useless stuff, although map and compass, compass do not count in that category. Uh, that, that's pretty, pretty much it. And I'm on the wound part too. Oh, it turned into a bomb! Did you see that shit? It turned into a bomb once I left! That was really weird! Oh, okay. I also have Champion's Belt, so I'm going get, to be getting more than usual champions, I guess. And I guess I don't really have to worry about knocking my my bombs out of the way, so I can just kind of place the bombs really easily. And, oh, oh, there we go. And Mom's dead. So I have lots of damage. Um, I've taken tons of deals with the Devils. It's actually kind of surprising I had more. I had have this much health. Another wow. Okay, uh, another thing that I. I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. I, I don't remember at all, though. I really kind of want to get rid of the left hand at the moment. Um, tears down and shot speed up. I, I don't know. Neither of those sound any good. Yeah, I took a lot of deals with the devil. And I'm also two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy at the moment. Although, I seem to be taking a lot of damage here. And, you know, I'm going to actually control the Ludovico technique here with my mouth. Because can't do it with the keyboard and be good at the same time. Might as well double my money here, keep taking the Wheel of Fortune because it becomes an item in the next, on the next floor, in the next floor. The Funk Soul Brother. I'm super glad I got an extra Spirit Heart there. Yes, you can actually do this whole just hang up over the guy with the Ludvito technique. You know, same thing you do with, um, scythes. I do okay, okay, fine. It's a bit of a weird run in general, I would have to say. I'm going to be farming this floor for uh, actual rerolls because just because there's a deal with the devil item in there. That's what I was trying to say. Since there's a deal with the devil item in there, I want to get the last guppy item so I can become guppy. I think that is actually guppy's paw, and if I can get guppy's tail, that does make me guppy. Okay, whatever. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I don't know how many flies will spawn as Guppy with the Ludvico technique, or the Ludvico technique, or the whatever the fuck it's called technique, but I'm assuming it's at least going to be a half decent amount. I don't have any keys, so this is pretty much as powerful as I'm getting. I don't have that much health left either. Whoa, what, what the f- why? I was- I did not go right into him there. I disagree. I disagree with what just happened. Range upgrades, wow, that'll help me out. So don't seem to be spawning many flies, so maybe that was a huge waste of my time. And I don't seem to be hitting any of these guys either. And I can't move properly. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a, actually a common glitch with this item. Hmm. At least I got extra keys and the Emperor card, so I'll be able to get a couple items on the next floor. So let's just move this to the middle, get that off screen, and then start dodging, I guess. Or hanging out in the corner as the case may be. Either or, really. Just need to kill ya. Kill ya without dying. I'm pretty sure I'll manage it, but I don't have that much health left, and this whole situation's making me a bit nervous. I do get an extra half spirit heart, and up to the next floor. Um, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get rid of the left hand, so I get a bunch of... I don't... I don't even know. Like, should I take these and then do that? And, uh, is there a difference, really? I get extra spirit hearts. I, 
I lost a bunch of health. But I gained spirit hearts. And there's nine lives. I already had nine lives. Can I get nine lives twice? Is that allowed? This runs very strange. Even the end of this runs very strange. This whole run's been very strange, though. So I'm not sure exactly what to say about that. Like, I, I guess I might as well get nine lives. And then just Emperor card. Why the hell not? That doesn't that does improve my damage via what's it called, right? Um, you know that that ability that I have, uh, Blood Oath. Yeah, I wish I had a half heart interval though, because that would be really ideal. And I'm kind of almost dying even as is. And I don't like that I'm almost dying. Come on, angel fetuses! Welcome on, angel fetuses! And the game's over. And that was a really awkward episode of things. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Patronize me in the link below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ish.